Julius Mukunda, coordinator CS Bag, says that the huge cabinet is of no benefit to the economy apart from constraining it and leaving a big burden on the taxpayer since they are the ones to pay salaries for these ministries and other government officials, including RDCs and presidential advisors. So when we increase RDCs, when we increase members of parliament, and now that we have even now we increase cabinet members, it goes back to bring more from the resources that would have helped us to do service delivery. Take for example, the Minister of Gender has got six ministers. State Minister for this, State Minister for Elderly, State Minister for Children, State Minister for Repast. It is just too much for a ministry that has got less than 0.5% of the entire budget. Mukunda adds that the recently read budget does not address urgent issues of the economy, including unemployment, focus on skilling young people, implementing development plans, improving service delivery, which major areas to address as priority. This is what we have, 26.3 trillion. How can we ever utilize it? And for us, we are saying that in order for us to utilize effectively and get all the benefits of the 26 trillion budget for this coming financial year, we need to ensure that the context in which it's being implemented, implement, implemented improves. One of the biggest questions we need to ask ourselves as we go is that how much of this money are we contributing? We have seen that out of the six trillion, we as Ugandans, we are only going to collect 49% of this amount. The rest of it is going to be borrowed. Namaga Imelda, Program Officer, Uganda Debt Network, says that the economy is going to spend more than what is capable of handling because it will be hard to meet the target of a middle-income economy as Uganda's debt rate is at 7%. If you look at this current uh, budget, 2016-17, uh, the new budget, already government is planning to spend $6.4 trillion of the budget. To, um, to pay uh, for interest payments. This is around 24% of the whole budget, the biggest share ever. That means uh, the other sectors have to compete for the 76%. So if we continue at this trend, maybe next state will even be at half of the budget trying to pay interest. Remember, this is just interest, not paying the debt. David Walakira, budget policy specialist, Siesberg, reacquires that the government should focus on fair tax payment and undermine all efforts geared towards legislation on avoiding taxes and also limit borrowing which attracts high interest rates from commercial banks. What is beginning to perform more are tax heads like pay as you earn because there is no way that me and you who earn money can dodge it. So efforts to make it um, get more money are underway so if you possibly earn more than 10 million shillings uh, a month you're going to be um, seeing a, a surcharge of 10% on top of the 30%. So in effect, you're going to be charged 